B-52 Strata Fortress takes off U.S. Air Force. The Boeing B-52 Strata Fortress is an American long-range, subsonic, jet-powered strategic bomber. The B-52 was designed and built by Boeing, which has continued to provide support and upgrades. It has been operated by the United States Air Force, USAF, since the 1950s. The bomber is capable of carrying up to 70,000 pounds, 32,000 kilograms, of weapons and has a typical combat range of around 8,800 miles, 14,080 kilometers, without aerial refueling. Beginning with the successful contract bid in June 1946, the B-52 design evolved from a straight-wing aircraft powered by six turboprop engines to the final prototype YB-52 with eight turbojet engines and swept wings. The B-52 took its maiden flight in April 1952. Built to carry nuclear weapons for Cold War era deterrence missions, the B-52 Strata Fortress replaced the Convair B-36 Peacemaker. A veteran of several wars, the B-52 has dropped only conventional munitions in combat. On November 23, 1945, Air Material Command AMC, issued desired performance characteristics for a new strategic bomber capable of carrying out the strategic mission without dependence upon advanced and intermediate bases controlled by other countries. The aircraft was to have a crew of five or more turret gunners and a six-man relief crew. The armament was to consist of an unspecified number of 20 mm cannon and 10,000 pounds, 4,500 kilograms, of bombs. On February 13, 1946, the USAF issued bid invitations for these specifications with Boeing, Consolidated Aircraft, and Glenn L. Martin Company submitting proposals. The B-52 shared many technological similarities with the preceding B-47 Stratajet strategic bomber. The two aircraft used the same basic design, such as swept wings and pod jet engines, and the cabin included the crew ejection systems. On the B-52D, the pilots and electronic countermeasures, ECM, operator ejected upwards, while the lower deck crew ejected downwards, until the B-52G, the gunner had to jettison the tail gun to bail out. The tail gunner in early model B-52s was located in a traditional location in the tail of the plane, with both visual and radar gun laying systems. In later models, the gunner was moved to the front of the fuselage, with gun laying carried out by radar alone, much like the B-58 Hustler's tail gun system. Structural fatigue was accelerated by at least a factor of 8 in a low-altitude flight profile over that of high-altitude flying, requiring costly repairs to extend service life. In the early 1960s, the three-phase high-stress program was launched to counter structural fatigue, enrolling aircraft at 2,000 flying hours. Follow-up programs were conducted, such as a 2,000-hour service life extension to select airframes in 1966 to 1968, and the extensive Pacer Plank Reskening, completed in 1977. The wet wing introduced on G and H models was even more susceptible to fatigue, experiencing 60% more stress during a flight than the old wing. The wings were modified by 1964 under ECP-1050. This was followed by a fuselage skin and long run replacement, ECP-1185, in 1966, and the B-52 Stability Augmentation and Flight Control Program, ECP-1195, in 1967. Fuel leaks due to deteriorating Marmand clamps continue to plague all variants of the B-52.
To this end, the aircraft were subjected to Blue Band, 1957, Hard Shell, 1958, and finally Quick Clip, 1958, programs. The latter fitted safety straps that prevented catastrophic loss of fuel in case of clamp failure. The B-52 service ceiling is officially listed as 50,000 feet, but operational experience shows this is difficult to reach when fully laden with bombs. According to one source, the optimal altitude for a combat mission was around 43,000 feet because to exceed that height would rapidly degrade the plane's range. In September 2006, the B-52 became one of the first U.S. military aircraft to fly using alternative fuel. It took off from Edwards Air Force Base with a 50-50 blend of Fisher, Trops Process, FT, synthetic fuel, and conventional JP-8 jet fuel, which burned in two of the eight engines. On December 15, 2006, AB-52 took off from Edwards with the synthetic fuel powering all eight engines, the first time a USAF aircraft was entirely powered by the blend. The seven-hour flight was considered a success. This program is part of the Department of Defense Assured Fuel Initiative, which aimed to reduce crude oil usage and obtain half of its aviation fuel from alternative sources by 2016. On August 8, 2007, Air Force Secretary Michael Wynn certified the B-52H as fully approved to use the FT blend.